from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. A major development in the case of this woman seen on video being punched by a Jacksonville police officer while she was handcuffed. Four years later, Sheriff Mike Williams admits the footage shows excessive force and he apologized in a deposition for the case. I will take the opportunity to apologize to Ms. Martinez for the way she was you know, treated at the back door of the jail. Uh, in my view, it was inappropriate. It was excessive. Myra Martinez was awarded more than $92,000 in a settlement. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel spoke with her attorney tonight. and She's joining us live from JSO headquarters to show us how this case could be used to set an example. Corley? The sheriff's deposition is more than an hour and a half long and in the video attorney John Phillips asked him questions about how this case was handled and the sheriff says he believes the two videos show the former officer using excessive force on Maya Martinez and he believes that this could be used as training to help prevent situations like this in the future. In a recorded deposition Tuesday, Sheriff Mike Williams rewatches two videos that show former officer Akinyemi Borisadi punching Myra Martinez while arresting her in 2016. From your review then, recollection, your review now, uh, in the Sally Port, was that a violation of JSO policy and procedure? Yes. Why? Uh, that particular video to me showed not only a violation of excessive force, but a violation of law. Investigators say officers arrested Martinez for trespassing her first day on the job as a dancer at the Scores Adult Club. The business claimed she refused to leave. Police say she was drunk and resisted officers who took her into custody. A witness recorded this video showing Bersati repeatedly punching Martinez who was face down in the parking lot. <laughs> While in the Sally Port at the jail, this video shows Bersati pushing Martinez up against the wall. She kicks her leg out. He then punches her several times while she's in handcuffs. Martinez then slumps to the ground. Borsati was later fired and arrested for simple battery in this case. After four years, Martinez was awarded a $92,500 settlement in the civil rights case and got an apology from the sheriff. I will take the opportunity to apologize to Ms. Martinez for the way she was you know, treated at the back door of the jail. Uh, in my view, it was inappropriate. It was excessive. Martinez's attorney, John Phillips, says he hopes this case will create change within JSO. It was more than the apology. It was the, the and it was her desire, too, to, to couple what happened to her with training that it doesn't happen again. John Phillips says that Martinez did not want to speak on camera. He says that she's no longer living in Florida and she just wants to put this case behind her. Reporting live from JSO, Corley PL Channel 4, The Local Station.